Hi all, uh, you're watching this because you must be interested in being one of the antiphonal ukulele players in Six Grooves for Ukulele, which is my ukulele concerto. So thank you for watching this film. Uh, yes, you can take part, and it'd be lovely to see you at a performance. The piece itself is in six movements, as the name suggests, and the ukulele players in the audience, that's the antiphonal ukulele players, that's you lot, um, you're in movements one, two, and Six. Uh, the piece is quite unusual in that the solo ukulele part um, is played in front of a, a weird and wonderful orchestra made up of all sorts of different percussion instruments. There's a string section, there's a piano player, there's a bass player. It's all very colourful and wonderful. Um, and these, uh, the ladies and gentlemen in the orchestra are all kind of full-time professionals. Um, many of you may not be full-time musicians, you may just do it for the love of it, which is wonderful, but a very important voice um, that the ukulele has is when it's played with lots of other ukuleles. It's a very important part of its character. So that's why I've included a large group of ukulele players as part of the orchestra. And the idea is that um, players from the local community near where the gig is taking place can come and join in. So you've got, you've got part-timers, full-time musicians, amateurs and pros all working together to make this wonderful sound. You'll be sitting out in the audience, the orchestra are on the stage, and, uh, and it should all work like clockwork. Um, you come in first in the, in the first movement, which is called the veneration of the ukulele. During this movement, I force each section of the orchestra to venerate the ukulele. Here's a photograph of one such veneration during the world premiere, which took place in September 2017. You can see the players, uh, the looks of delight on their faces. So there's a little bit of activity at the opening of the movement where my ukulele arrives as if by magic from the sky, it comes down from the sky, it's actually on a piece of fishing line at the, from the lighting rig in the venue, um, and then you guys stand up and we do some question and answer stuff which is very very straightforward and I can cover this in the workshop and in the rehearsal which you'll have to attend um, on the day of the gig. There's a little bit more technical stuff towards the end of the movement, it's not difficult, you don't have to be an advanced player to play this, and we're going to go straight to a close-up of my ukulele so that you can learn the, the little coda section, the tail end of the first movement. Here it is now. As you can see, I'm holding down a C chord, and my favourite finger for a C chord is to use the little finger, the fourth finger, but it's still on the third fret. Um, it's just a, a nice way of playing the chord in case you need to use your other fingers. In this case, you're going to play notes of that chord and then an A minor chord and then we're going to slide up to the 7th fret for one brief moment. Now here's a little pattern. Uh, look at my fingers first, then we'll check out the music. So you can see the pattern there, if you look at my right hand, I'm just using my thumb, I'm playing two bottom strings, two third strings, one second string, and I come back down again, two, two, one. And I play the whole sequence, and then I play it as an A minor chord, and then I play it again as a C, again as an A minor. I'll play that for you again, and I'll carry on this time. So here we go. goes the second finger, and do it again on the C chord, and then on the A minor chord. Now start again, but you slide up to the seventh fret. back where you were, a, a minor chord, and then you strum it, just the open strings, and again, and again. Now let's do it with the music, uh, you can see it's in five actually, there are five notes in each bar, um, the numbers in circles are the string numbers, 
the numbers on their own are finger numbers or open strings and if you look at the two dots at the beginning and two dots at the end of the first line that means repeat and then you carry on through um, MP mezzo piano that means nice and gently quietly it's a quiet section so here we go three four five second bar two high notes two second strings put the A minor chord repeat that's the A minor chord and now the where well you got to the seventh fret two of those high notes back down to your A minor chord strum two three four five hang around for a bar two three four and strum two three four five hang around two three and finally strum that's it let's go on to the other movements next is the second movement and here's a little film which shows you what you have to play
And now here's a film of the main bit that you have to play in the sixth movement. and here's a close-up of the ukulele and then some music to show you how to play it. For this little section in the sixth movement you're playing two strings at the same time so I play them with my thumb and my index finger and it's the third and the first string you play it twice and then you play the bottom string and the second string so you just go in between it might take a bit of practice that you can use two fingers if you like any two fingers you like, finger and thumb, whichever you prefer. And the chord shape's easy, you just play a little bar chord on the seventh fret, one on the fifth fret, and then the open strings. Here it goes. It's in four and slide down, open strings. I find it nice to hold the ukulele when I'm playing that. And again, 7th fret bar. And strum. Now have a look at the music. You can see the Roman numerals for the 7th fret. That's where you do your bar chord. Roman numeral for the 5th fret. And then position one, that means, well, it's just open strings. 
you can see the open strings there. And look at the repeat mark at the end. The two dots mean you go back and play it again. So I count you in one, two, three, four. Thank you.